What is going on dudes? Brethren here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the new H1Z1 update. Today is Wednesday, March 11th and it's got quite a few things in it as well as fixes. We have a new crafting recipe for a pretty cool item. We'll get into that a little bit later as well as they've done a lot of changes to Battle Royale and the way the queuing system works. That's all been fixed and stuff and also some cool things for base building as well as uh, some adjustments to the velocity of our weapons now as well so if you guys do go to enjoy this video please do hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe so you don't miss stuff like this in the future Alright guys, so first up we have Battle Royale changes. So now they have fixed the queuing system. You no longer have to spam the Play Battle Royale button. Just hit it and it'll put you in a server, basically a holding tank. And then when a server opens up, it'll cycle you in there. And uh, you no longer have to just sit there and wait for one to pop up. Also, in-game changes to Battle Royale, there should no longer be crafting ingredients as a part of loot that spawns. And I also noticed that spawning loot takes a couple minutes now uh, because some people get to the ground faster than others and I guess they're trying to even out the playing field so when you spawn if you don't see loot in your favorite spots just give it a second or two and it might spawn up for you so uh, that I also noticed and it wasn't really in the chain change logs uh, but they did say they also made some map visual adjustments as well Alright guys, so moving into the main game changes here, we have all damaged base building pieces will now show health bars. This is a major one. You would sit there and break someone's shack down and it wasn't showing any uh, type of health on their door or sometimes it would show on their shacks. But now it's supposedly it's going to be shown on all building pieces, which is pretty cool. Moving on, damaged vehicles will also show a health bar if you are near it and have a wrench to repair it. So this is pretty awesome. Also, the dew collector is now fixed. It will Will look like its basin is full of water when it is ready to be collected and also the old splashing effect has been removed I really hated that splashing effect it almost sounded like footprints sometimes and it would really freak me out especially going into the uh, cop station sometimes I know a lot of people like to put those on the roof but uh, moving on crafting saline will no longer produce an empty bottle also crafting a first aid kit will return an empty bottle from the used up saline the recipe for the yeast starter has been modified directly to create yeast now and the recipe for the yeast will now return an empty bottle from the used up purified water. Moving on, Bob Wire and Punji Sticks now have a resistance to being shot with arrows. So you can no longer shoot them with arrows and have them take damage. Also, furnaces and barbecues now have less health. Before, they were indestructible, so people would place them in doorways to make it harder to get in, as well as they place them up under their base, uh, which was kind of good as far as barbecues so that people couldn't glitch up through their floor, because I know that a lot of people were doing that. But uh, moving on, it says that the troll furnaces and barbecues can be removed the easiest with a crowbar store containers can now also be destroyed and the new demolition hammer is the best way to basically break one of those down if you're the one that placed it we'll get into that a little bit here in just a second otherwise explosives and crowbars will also work as far as destroying uh, you know furnaces as well as uh, barbecues and also storage containers and they also want to say that please note that at this time if a container is destroyed with items in it the items will of course be destroyed as well Moving on, this is where they talk more about the demolition hammer. They added a new recipe for it. It can be discovered with a metal pipe, and it is used to remove misplaced or unwanted building structures that you have. Basically, the demolition hammer can be used to do a massive damage to the base structure that you have placed. It will not work on other people's base. So say you place some stairs down, and you wanted to remove those, whereas before you'd have to beat the mess out of it just like you would anyone else's stairs. Now you can craft this demolition hammer and it'll basically do the work for you in about two to eight hits but of course it only works on things that you place down you can't take this demolition hammer say to another base and expect it to do the same it's only what you actually yourself have placed down moving on though guys ethanol and normal torches can now be placed and when they're placed they will automatically be lit 
Also, zombies will target the vehicle first instead of the player inside it. This is a big one in my opinion. I know that they were able to slap you through the vehicle as well as bears and also wolves could bite you through the vehicle. Hopefully that's been fixed. So now, instead of that happening, your vehicle is going to take the initial damage and then of course end up blowing up, I would imagine, if you don't move your vehicle or either uh, take care of the problem. So moving on from that, off-roaders have some minor geometry upgrades as well. Also also, the crosshair reticule has replaced the dot reticule, guys. So basically, your pistol, your shotgun, uh, everything has a crosshair on it now, and it kind of makes it a little bit easier. I don't know, I was kind of getting used to the dot, but it, I was playing some BR with it. You can see it on screen now, um, and it's not that bad. I kind of like it. I guess it's going to have to grow on us, but um, it would be nice if they had an option to either use the dot or the crosshairs. We'll see if maybe they implement that later. Later on down the road they've also made some more changes to the guns guys as far as bullet drop so they added bullet drop to the 308 the 223 as well as the 45 and they reduced the recoil of the AR-15 uh, when in first person as well as third person and uh, they increased the 308 rifle zoom up to five times now which is pretty awesome and they also decreased the scope sway penalty when out of breath so steadying is a little bit easier now and you don't get such a uh, sway penalty whenever you do run out of breath. So the 308 seems to be pretty legit now, but of course you have to obviously account for the bullet drop now. So if you're a ways away from a person, you may have to aim above their head a little bit for you to get that headshot off. Alright guys, and pretty much last but not least, you can now first person a vehicle, which is pretty cool as you see here in the gameplay in the background, and uh, it's definitely hard going up a mountain. I would not suggest first person up a mountain like I did here in this BR, um, but I did manage to get lucky and not wreck, so that was pretty cool. But other than that guys, they do go on to say that this is the Battle Royale weekend, basically from Friday, this coming up Friday, to Sunday, they're going to be giving out special rewards rewards the people that win battle royales like uh, basically exclusive stuff this weekend and also just people that participate will also get some stuff too so check it out I know I'm definitely going to do so uh, if you guys want to see the full change log for yourself I'll have a link in the description below so you guys can click on that please do like the video if you did enjoy it or find it helpful in any way shape or form that'd be absolutely awesome and definitely helps get the video out there but other than that dudes I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see your face in the next video. Thanks for watching dudes and peace out.